Early and Frequent Feedback In Agile, there are short iterations and team demonstrates working software after each iteration. In contrast to the old development methodologies, Agile has short iterations. And after each iteration, the team demonstrates the working software to the stakeholders or the customers. And because of these demonstrations or showcases, the early and frequent feedback is received by the business or the customers. In old development methodologies like waterfall and V model, customer didn't use to get the product by end of the uh, until end of the project or until end of the development life cycle. And due to that, the this frequent feedback was not possible in those approaches. And that was the big issue in the old development approaches. Because the customer used to get software in the end of the life cycle, if there were any changes required, those need to come in the form of change requests. While in Agile, these feedback are obtained after each showcase and the team development team can prioritize those feedback based on uh, the risk factor or time to market advantage and then work on those feedback to deliver those um, those uh, points or features in the upcoming iterations now let us see some of the key benefits of uh, early and frequent feedback in agile the first benefit is that it avoids requirements misunderstanding. Now, because the iterations are very short of two to four week cycle, um, the customer sees the working software and he can provide the feedback whether that particular software is, is uh, fit for his use or it meets his expectation. And if there are some deviations or changes required in that particular software or the feature, then those are uh, those can be easily incorporated in the upcoming uh, iterations. The second benefit is that software is available early to customer because each iteration is uh, each iteration builds the software incrementally. Uh, after each iteration, the software is available early to the customer which can be released to the market even with limited functionality if um, and and provides huge time to market advantage the third benefit is that team knows what is the priority for the business now because there is a constant uh, communication with the business uh, people uh, on a regular basis or daily basis uh, team knows what is the priority for the business and based on that priority team works and delivers those priorities to the business. Uh, the fourth benefit is that quality issues are resolved in early phases. Now because of the early and frequent feedback, if there are any quality issues or uh, the software is not working as per the expectation of the customer. These issues are resolved early in the iteration and any defect fixes are done early in the life cycle. The fifth benefit is that it helps um, better uh, team management. So because agile teams are small teams of three to nine people and uh, because of the, uh, those short teams or uh, small teams, uh, this feedback helps in better team management. Uh, the last point is that it promotes consistent project velocity. Um, due to this early feedback, consistent project velocity is maintained. Teams are self-organized um, and self-motivated. They know what they are going to deliver in the upcoming iterations. So these are some of the key benefits of early and frequent feedback in agile development.